Mastering, recommend, an essential reporting verb for English advice. Hello, English learners. Welcome back to our video series on intermediate grammar. Today, we're focusing on an essential part of reported speech, specifically reporting advice. We're going to zero in on a key reporting verb that's extremely useful when it comes to reporting advice. Recommend. So, sit back, grab your notes, and let's dive in. Recommend is an important verb when it comes to advice. We often use it when we want to tell someone what another person suggested as a good action or choice. For instance, if your doctor suggests you eat more vegetables, you could tell your friends, my doctor recommended eating more vegetables. The structure is typically recommend plus gerund, verb plus ing, or recommend plus that clause, should plus verb. For example, he recommended reading the book before watching the movie. She recommended that I should start studying a week before the exam. Remember, recommend isn't only used in the structures we've just covered. It's versatile. You can also use it in the structure recommend plus noun, especially when you're suggesting a specific thing to someone. For example, my teacher recommended this book for improving vocabulary. They recommended a visit to the new art gallery downtown. As well as in statements, we often use recommend in questions when we are seeking advice. In this case, we might ask, what do you recommend? Or, what do you recommend doing? For example, what do you recommend eating at this restaurant? Which book do you recommend reading to understand this topic better? Finally, we can also use recommend to suggest not doing something. We can use the structure recommend plus not plus gerund. For example, my coach recommended not running until my knee is fully healed. The guidebook recommended not visiting the monument during the midday heat. There you have it, folks. That was our deep dive into the usage of recommend as a reporting verb for advice. Remember, practicing these patterns will help you become more fluent and confident. So, we recommend using these structures in your everyday English conversations. Until next time, keep learning, keep practicing, and as always, we recommend having fun with your English learning journey.